What's up, RM Beers? We got another great video for you today, and uh, we're gonna open a little bit of mail real quick, but we're gonna go through some of the stuff that we have for sale, and you know, if you guys didn't get out to the show, maybe you can see these and reach out to us. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we really appreciate you guys sending out some mail, so I'm gonna open them up real quick, and then I'm gonna go through them. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but we'll show you what we got. All right, guys, I'm all set up. So real quick, going through these. Now, a lot of people are out there trying on other people's shirts and repping them. I mean, come on, we'll rep your shirts. Send us a shirt, we'll rep it. Uh, I'm a 2X, Ryan's an XL when he's able to get back on videos, so all right, well, let's get into this. Also, a long time ago, if you guys uh, maybe remember, these business cards are ridiculous. Um, thank you for your support. The uh, Tim Stevens. Tim S Stevens from Spoonman Ball Pythons. Um, look at that. These business cards are... So these are stickers, some flashy stickers. But these business cards are super hard plastic. I like them, they're cool. All right, so in one of our other videos, a long time ago, I said that I would wear anything you guys sent and nobody's really sending anything crazy. So this is 41 South Pythons, 41 South Pythons from Palmetto, Florida. They must live on Route 41. They don't live on Route 41. That's all right. Thank you so much for that. And next one is from Alto Pythons. Alada? Is that as it says? Alada? It's Alta? Tony. Tony Alada? That's our Arroyo guy from Across the Pond. Oh. The Arroyo guy from Across the Pond. So. Yeah, that's true, awesome. We finally got them in, thank you so much. And last but not least, M-Tip Reptiles. Hey, how are you? Thanks for doing sticker swap with me. Regards, M-Tip Reptiles, M-Tip Reptiles. Reptiles M-Tip, M-Tip Reptiles. It's a cool little guy. Sticker. Thank you guys so much. It really humbles us when you guys send us stickers. So we're gonna throw them up on the incubator, which is pretty packed. We're gonna have to start putting stickers elsewhere. All right, thanks. So we're gonna go through what we have for sale right now, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're, we have going on. We do have a handful of things that are still in quarantine from a show, and we're not gonna show those today because they're not really ready yet. And we have a few animals that need to eat a few more meals before they're ready. So the scale is stuff, as you guys have seen in other videos, they will be coming up. They're not ready yet. They're still eating. They're shedding. Everything's going great. We're not having any issues. So I know a lot of people think that it's really hard to keep them. I think if you follow a couple good rules, it's not so bad. So we are going to start with this guy. All right. So the first animal that we have for sale is this fire Arroyo hidden gemoma. It's possible yellow belly. It's a little hard to tell. I think the belly looks like it, but the sides don't really look yellow belly, but it could be interaction of the fire and arroyo maybe messing with it but let me see if i can get them to calm down here so you can see the arroyo if you know what you're looking for there's a putting green here um you get the thumbprints coming up the side in some of these i would say how the alien head connects but the hidden gemoma with the arroyo messes up the pattern a good bit but you're also getting this super dark outline around everything, which I think is the fire influence with the Arroyo. And that stripe all the way along the back, that's just crazy. What a cool snake. So if you are interested in any of these, just hit us up either in the comments or, um, you know, message us, you can call me. My cell phone number is 856-649-3149. People don't, they don't text me like a ton, they, a little bit. All right, let me get on the next. All right, this next one is a beauty. Um, man, these sometimes it's hard to sell some of these things. It's just crazy. So this is an Arroyo as well, 
But it's a Fire Arroyo Enchi Hidden Gene Woma. So you can see the difference in the, the color and how the pattern gets crazy here. Um, the Arroyo influence with the outlines. And this spot right here is a really good indicator for me for what Arroyo is, how this dorsal looks, and the patterning. Um, you can see a little bit of the hooking. But then the Arroyo, I mean the Hidden Gene Woma, messes up the pattern like the last snake we just showed but then that enchi brings up some oranges man and also just mixes up stuff this is a beautiful beautiful animal talk about powerful if you want to get into the arroyo project i mean this is a, a great male and uh the hidden gmoma stuff you know a lot of people say they don't understand it but it really it's just a funny name it's a it's a pattern uh mutation mixes up the pattern and it's just really cool makes everything busy and tight man great animal of course i think they're all great it's hard to sell this one's hard to sell and let go of mm. all right all right so how about this one this is a fire ng yellow belly being real feisty probably going to strike at the camera um this is a female probably going to light me up but you can see how the belly bleeds over here. You have some good flaming with the yellow belly. The entry makes the pattern real crazy. And of course the fire head stamp, if we can get her to calm down a little bit there <laughs> to stop tracking at the camera, which is funny. But hey, if they're feisty, they're gonna eat, right? That's the deal. So uh, hasn't missed a meal yet. But also, just a, a beautiful female, if you want to add something cool as a good female to have, there we go. The next one is a beauty. This is a male. This is a GHI Fire Arroyo. We actually, just in the Arroyo group on Facebook, had somebody asking about this combo. Um, and you can see some of the craziness when it comes to the Arroyo and the GHI. So the hooking is seems more so with a GHI Arroyo than just with GHI. Even though GHI does do the hooking on its own, this is a little bit more exaggerated. Also, the way that this pattern is here, in my opinion, helps point out the Arroyo. Also, you'll see this blushing here that gets up over the top, but yet it still has this really dark outline around the pattern on the dorsal is another indication to me of that it's the GHI Arroyo and the fire. So. The fire is really, really cool. Look how clean that belly is. The fire really makes it um, dark and gives you a cool head stamp, even though this one's blushed out. But you see these here, we call them the biceps, the curling biceps um, for all those strong men out there. Uh, but the alien heads all look like that. Not all of them, but most of them. And let's see here. You get this good dorsal stripe. This is just an amazing animal. I know Arroyo is up and coming and I think that when we hit a couple really, really awesome combos, it's gonna really blow up. Um, I think Justin talked about it not that long ago. And yeah, I, I agree. I think that it's a it's an up and coming morph, but um, yeah, this is just one of those really awesome looking snakes. The color's great, man. So if you wanna get into the Arroyo project, this is a way to start off. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This next beauty, he is a Firefly Orange Dream GHI. Firefly Orange Dream GHI. Look at this thing. This thing is super, super bright. The blushing in between is nuts. It's on fire. So the pattern's crazy. Let me try to get this guy to unball here. A little bit without hurting him. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Super orange. You can see the GHI stuff just all weird inside the alien heads. Man, look at that head. Oh, I know you're real, real scared. But what a beautiful snake. Melty tail. It could be our fire stuff. The melty tail. Man. Sometimes it's hard to sell stuff, but we have way too many holdbacks, like way too many. <laughs> All right, let's move on. 
This next girl is an NG Hidden Dew Moma. This is from our Lori clutch, and we thought that she might have been Lori, but when we started looking at her a little bit more and she shut out, we realized she's just an NG Hidden Dew Moma, but what a beautiful one. You can see all these peaches in the pattern along her belly, along the sides, the crazy pattern. Look how busy, how many alien heads there are. It's just very, very beautiful. And this dorsal stripe, how bright it is, is very odd to us. We didn't think, like, it. that's what made us think that we're, there was something else in there. But we just don't think anything else is in there. This is NG Hinji Moma, and if, if there is other stuff in there, that's just what we're selling her as. So, an NG Hinji Moma. Wow. Beautiful. And it's a girl. It's a girl. All right, this next one's a steal, so you guys better be uh, sharpening your pencils here. This is a pastel GHI female, pastel GHI female, 100% het clown. That's right, het clown. Look how crazy this GHI pastel stuff is, and then the het clown. So het clown, a lot of times we're noticing that it cleans things up, and this snake is has a little bit of. <laughs> Cocoa net, coconut on there, but um, wow, look how dark it is. I hate to sell this one. It, the problem is, we just have too many holdbacks. I, if you ask anybody, you know, when you're like, oh, well, it's kind of silly to have 40 or 50 holdbacks. Um, I think it's really, really where we're at right now. But this is a pastel GHI 100% het clown female, so she's looking for a good home. And she will be even more beautiful as she gets older here. Man. Also a cool snake. So this is a fire hidden gene Woma yellow belly. Let me pull him out. Hopefully he doesn't try to strike at everything while I'm trying to hold him out here. So you can see how it bleeds off into the belly here and how you have the flaming going on and you get the pixelation. So this is yellow belly and hidden G moment. You can see how busy it is. Yeah. <laughs> Even though <laughs> the babies don't hurt when they strike, it's still something in my head. Ryan makes fun of me for it all the time, but it's something in my head that's like, don't get bit, you know? But, um, so this one is beautiful. Look at that head stamp. It's like a melted head stamp that just, I don't know, reminds me of like, Mm, spawn or something <laughs> or raw shack <laughs> looks like a phoenix what so what a beautiful snake I guess oh yeah actually I didn't see that like that if you look at the dark it also kind of looks like a uh, phoenix or a it's hard to see in the light of course He's being a bit of a pain. Let's see if he'll calm down. <laughs> but it's a bit of a phoenix. You can trust us. Looks awesome. So that's what we have for sale right now in Ball Pythons. We have still just a few more Blue Tongue Skinks left. We have a few Easterns, only a couple Northerns left. Uh, we're selling them a couple a week. So. We'll be out soon, and, and the way that those go, you know, they're very uh, seasonal. So when they hatch, or not hatch, when they lay, when they have litters, um, <laughs> then they end up with, you know, all the babies in one time of the year, and most people don't have anything come right about now. There's not a lot for sale out there right now, and uh, we do have a few left. So if you're looking for blue tongue skinks, hit us up, and uh, hopefully, We'll get them to you before we put them down for being brumation. I mean, you got to put skinks down for brumation. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys are hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you're not getting bit by any snakes here. <laughs> and her, watch Herb House Rock. We had some really great guests on. We had a guy on from uh, South Africa this past Saturday. Great stuff fun, fun animals that he has and uh, probably a project we'll be getting into in the near future. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Meh. <laughs>
All right. Okay. And that belly suit. Sure, you want to sell this one? I mean, really? It's crazy. 